What's up guys, Donnie here. Today I want to show you how to win Christmas by making some really easy, super customizable 3D lithophane ornaments. Just like this. I'm going to show you step by step how to make this from beginning to end, from designing the, the pictures on here as well as 3D printing it and what settings to use, and also um, going over the type of materials I use to get a, a successful print with my Ender 3 V2. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is go to a website, photop.com. This is essentially a free version of Photoshop online. I know a lot of people don't have Photoshop or don't know how to use it. So we're going to go from the beginning here. What you want to do first is make a new file and we're going to use these um, settings 4000 by 1000 pixels. The important part is that we go um, 4000 or 4 by 1. Uh, width to height ratio um, that's because we wanted to go all the way around the the lithophane uh, the sphere so you're pretty much gonna choose whatever pictures you want if you want you can you know you can get a picture from something you saved online you know just drag it here if you want to and that'll and it'll just pop up on the screen there I'm not gonna use that one what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use uh, Lord of the Ring wallpapers because these are usually 1920 by 1200 um, image size and it pretty much translates very well to, to the size of this file here. Um, but an important thing to remember is to not use uh, very small images because it's gonna, be, it's gonna come out pixelated, it's not gonna be very nice. So that's all you really have to do in this case. Get, get whatever picture you want, drag it off onto the screen or if you want something from online, just copy it over here and control V uh, or you can just do paste, edit, paste, and then it'll come out here. Um, in this case, they are already pre pretty close to the, the, the right size. You don't want any spaces like this because it's gonna come out very light. It's gonna like have a band. So you, you wanna adjust them a little bit or maybe um, layer them on or make it smaller right let's see um, if you want three images you're just gonna adjust uh, by adjusting you click on the layer that you want which is the different wallpapers you click on this one move and then you'll see these uh, squares on the edges you just adjust them uh, same thing on this one I clicked on this one and then I adjusted the the squares on the sides if you want it, if you want, it'll um, keep the same scale. If you want it, if you want to like um, make it so you squish it, you hold down the shift button and then you can change the uh, size without keeping the right scale. But I would not suggest doing that just because, you know, it won't look nice usually unless it's very little, then it's fine. Anyway, uh, let's copy this one. Let's paste this one here. Oh, that's tiny. Is this tiny? When you're looking for pictures, you kind of want big ones. Image size, large. Yeah, let's do this one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Grimma worm tongue. So move that over there, maybe put it underneath. You, you can change the layer um, order and make it underneath the rest so that you can actually see better with the, the ones you want. Delete that one. So maybe adjust this a little bit there and then this one there and then what now we're going to save this you're going to export as jpeg uh 80 percent that's probably fine save that's going to save as uh, a file on your downloads now what you want to do is go to this next website lithophane maker let's go here lithophanemaker.com okay this is a free to use website you can pretty much make anything you want there's so many different options but for this one we're going to go with a lith lithophane globe maker okay for our ornaments you click on that one okay so we're going to choose our file the one you just made from there it's going to show up here it looks like uh let's see i don't think you can adjust this here anyway these are the settings that you want to do okay you can flip the image, which is 
upside down or right side up, it's not going to show it on here right now. You can make a moon background, which goes around it, pretty much around the rest of the sphere. You can crop the image, and you can also fit the image to the sphere. We're not going to do that because we have to adjust everything still. The sphere diameter is going to be 50, and the picture angular height is going to be 90 degrees. So that changes this to 360 automatically. Maximum thickness, 2.4. Minimum thickness, 0.6. We'll keep that the same. The cylinder outer diameter, 15.6. The cylinder height is going to be 4. Cylinder thickness is going to be 2, which is the thickness of the whole thing, right? Cylinder ledge outer diameter is going to be 17. The top outer top hole outer diameter is going to be 0. Let's see, and the X shift 0.5, Y shift 0. Okay, so this should be good. Estimated runtime, 59 seconds. This is to make the file, obviously. Oh, right, okay, we're gonna use our email and the download will be available pretty quick. There it is. Okay, now we're gonna open it up and we are going to open it up in Cura. Now, I already have something. I'm going to delete this real quick. We're just going to go ahead and drag it in there. See how it comes out. All right. As you can see. Hard to tell, but everything seems to be there. There's a, there is Saruman and uh, Worm Tongue, Grandma Worm Tongue. There's the bridge, there's uh, Aragorn, and the rest of the Fellowship of the Ring. You'll see here that's all red. It looks like you would need support, but you really don't. So we're gonna, I'm, I already changed this. I already have a custom profile for this. This is what you wanna be using, okay? You want a layer height of 0.12, pretty much the smallest you can do. Okay, so it's the highest quality possible for that. Wall thickness, four millimeters, 10 wall count. Um, infill density should be 100. And your temperature uh, should be whatever your filament is. Print speed, I reduce it to half, usually it's 50. 25 millimeters per second to make sure it comes out um, nice um, and good. Anyway, and you also want to do a raft just to make sure because this is very small adhesion down here. Go ahead and slice, and, and you pretty much know the rest, right? You slice, you put it into your SD card. Let's check out the preview real quick. All right, that looks about right. Yeah, okay. Once that's all done and printed, we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you what it comes out like. So as you can see, I'm, I've already on my way to making a lot of these for this Christmas for my family. I'm gonna use these ones because I already have them made, not the one I showed you on the video. When they come out, because of the raft, you'll see that it comes out with, with this raft on top here. All you really have to do is, is, is snap it off just like that and it'll be done. Some designs will have protrusions just like this. You really just get some nippers and cut it off. What I like to do is I uh, use these, which are the bulbs that you can buy on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below um, on where to get these and how much they are. But these are battery operate, operated. They, uh, they just twist off and on. There's small batteries inside there. These last for about three hours. So not that long. It's not good for hanging overnight, obviously, or for, you know, for long periods of time. So what I would suggest is just having these in there for display, for show, and then telling them that when they get it, they should put it on the uh, Christmas ornament using the, the lights that are already on the tree. You can just push this into there. Anyway, um, so easy way to, to see where there's too much going on. You can, you can make some clippings. Just clip off the excess parts there, right? And then you should be pretty good to go. Just look for any other protrusions that you want to get rid of, like uh, this one right here, this one here. You can use your nail or just cut it off completely. And then you should be pretty good. 
Now I did test two different materials just because I had them. They, these two are very different, slightly different designs, but you can see this one's wider. This one's a little more yellow. This one is the eSun PLA Pro Plus or PLA Plus on Amazon. And this one is the Overture PLA Plus. They're, the Overture is a little bit cheaper. I, I got it because it was on sale. It's like four or five dollars cheaper than this one. You can see when it was printed out that uh, the eSun is a lot smoother on the bottom. They print out like this, right? So this part was on the bottom, same here. This part is on the bottom. You'll see it's a, a lot rougher here, but it still came out pretty well. And remember, both of these did not have supports, so they came out pretty good. Um, you will also notice that the overture is a lot thinner, or at least it uh, gives off more light, lets a lot more light through. These are both printed with the exact same settings. Okay, This one is a little darker, so if you want it to come out a little lighter and maybe more white and less yellow, um, I would go for the Isan PLA uh, Plus and then just reduce the maximum thickness to a smaller amount and then it should let more light through. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like using the um, the actual Christmas lights here. I'm going to turn off the lights in the, in the room to Alexa, turn off office lights. Okay. And let's turn off this one too. Okay, so it's a little bit darker in here. Now, these ones, they go pretty well into here um, because of the uh, the little lock, right? There, okay. And you kind of just have to wiggle it in and you'll see that it's, it's, it, it's very, it's pretty stable. It's not just gonna come off because of that usually, but <laughs> if you try to do it like that, yeah, but. It's pretty stable. If you want, you can adjust the um, the diameter a little bit, but hanging, it's gonna be pretty stable in there. You can see it's pretty bright. It's not as bright as using this one because of um, usually the frosting on the lights, on the um, Christmas lights, but you can pretty much see all of the details. Uh, let's show you the other one using eSun. This is the um, overture and this is the eSun here filament. I think the eSun looks a lot nicer because it's not it's not yellow. So this is the eSun. You'll see that it is darker, way darker using the, the Christmas lights here. And if there's a lot of light too close, it's going to be very hard to see. So I would really suggest making sure to um, lower the maximum thickness. So the go-to gift ideas, so the go-to pictures you would use for these are usually family pictures. If um, if they like a certain character in a movie or a book, that's a really good one to do too. A uh, certain franchise, of course, like the Lord of the Rings. Um, if you're if the person you're going to give this to likes to draw or paint, uh, a good thing would be to ask them for their favorite ones and then put that on the ornament. And I think that'll be really nice for them too. Um, as for these. Uh, boxes that I'm using. I got these from Amazon. They are a little too big as you can see compared to the size of the ornament So what I did was I got these party streamers for a dollar each super long All you gotta do is crumple them up and then stuff them in there and then put the put the ornament inside And then maybe put a little bit more on top and then it'll be um, nice and sturdy in there nice and uh, comfy um, for the ornament filament, you can use different colors. Try to use a light color because the, um, the darker ones, the light will pretty much just not go through. Try not to use the super translucent ones because in that case, the, uh, the light will go through too easily and will not diffuse and you'll just see the, the light in the very center as opposed to the whole thing being illuminated. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you found this video really helpful. Um, please like and subscribe. It'll really help the channel out. And we will see you at the next one. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.